Okay, hello everyone. Uh, let's get started so we continue with our manual related to Hive, uh, which allows us to uh, do some SQL like uh, queries on HDFS data. Uh, so in previous videos, if you haven't seen them so far, we gave some intro to you, so you have an idea what Hive actually is. And in the last video, we also talked about uh, creating a new database. All right. So today we'll talk in more details about uh, tables in Hive. So we'll look into how we can uh, create a new table. What are the options we can specify during a new table creation? Of course, in this video we are not able to go uh, through all options which are available in create table command now. Uh, so uh, we'll have at least two more videos related to that. Uh, so today I just wanted to highlight two main things. Uh, so the create table syntax uh, in overall, so what are the mandatory parts to be specified there, what are the uh, file format options that we can use uh, during table creation and how we can uh, create a table uh, using already existing one. So for example, if there is a table and we want to create a new one with exactly the same uh, schema. Yeah, how we can do that. Okay, so let's get started. So let's start our hive by typing hive. Okay, so I assume that you already started your HTTP virtual machine. Yeah. Okay, so we are in Beeline. Show databases. Let's refresh our knowledge. What, which databases we have. Okay, let's move to uh, test database by typing use test okay and let's use show tables to look around okay we have TT table okay that's fine okay let's create a new one okay so the syntax is very simple create table okay uh, then we should specify a table name let it be test one table, right? And then mandatory part is to specify the table as such, I mean uh, columns. Yeah? So syntax there is quite similar to what we have in SQL. So column name, let it be uh, column one. Then we should go for data type, let it be let's say float and then we can also specify a comment using a comment keyword uh, test column one let's say okay just a reminder we should use single quotes for that um, okay Okay, um, yeah, don't forget we should use brackets here. Okay, and uh, let's create a second column. Let it be column 2 with type string and also the, uh, without any comment. Okay. Oh, uh, semicolon. Okay, it should be created. Let's check, show tables. Yeah, we have our test table test one okay uh, just a reminder by using uh, describe we can uh, retrieve some metadata about our table okay so as you see two columns column one column two data types like we specified and also a comment available for a column Y uh, for column one which we specified here in our create statement Okay, uh, now let's uh, let's move on and let's see what happens if we want to create another table with the same uh, with the same name. 
Okay, and as you see, we get an error. Yeah, execution error already exists exception. Yeah, so that means that table already exists. But if we uh, want our command not to fail in case of uh, table already existing we can uh, specify an option uh, table test one uh, if uh, table if not exists okay so that means okay and as you see we don't have any errors here right so by adding if not exists, we ask Hive to create a table only in case it doesn't exist. Yeah, so if table already exists, we don't take any actions. Yeah? So that's a quite useful uh, thing to use. Yeah? But of course, in some cases, we also want to know that uh, this. Uh, this particular table already exists yeah? and in that case if we want this error to be shown to us uh, just exclude if not exists right and another thing I would like to show you is how to create a new table using already a schema from existing table yeah? so for example we have just created a test one table and we want to create a new one with this exactly the same structure like we have yeah? so of course we can uh, type the same command okay so if this command is available and it's not too long we can use it as well yeah but uh, the real data engineering style of course is to use some some uh, more well, let's say convenient uh, things to create that yeah? and we can use the same create table okay and okay let's give it name test2 uh, then keyword like and table name from which we want to get schema okay, okay. and let's check by executing show tables okay as you see we have test 2 which we have created using just this short command create table table name like and table name from which we take schema okay and if we use describe uh, describe and table name okay you can see that schema of test 2 is exactly the same like for test 1 right okay and uh, finally for today I want to discuss some some options we have for specifying a format in which we want to save our data like so uh, as you know half it's just an abstraction of top of HDFS yeah, which allows us to query our data using SQL like syntax yeah but um, the data as such is stored on HDFS right and um, uh, so as uh, Hadoop supports many uh, different uh, data formats uh, Hive supports them as well. Yeah. And now let's look at a couple of them. Yeah. So we can specify the format by adding an extra option stored as. Yeah. So by default, uh, the format in which data is stored is text file. As text file. Okay and yeah so let's insert something insert into table free values okay and we have float 1.1 and string test okay uh, which table name does insert into oh sorry not table free but test free okay test free ok 
Okay, as soon as it's inserted, uh, let's find the location where data is stored and check the format. Okay, yeah, as you see, here we have uh, the address on HDFS where the data is stored. Okay, let's first query our table, whether we indeed have data there. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then let's uh, let's launch another another terminal. Okay, and let's check by executing this command. Okay, if you forgot HDFS related commands, well, uh, on the top right corner you should see a link to our manual so just look it through okay so here we have a file I believe where it's a directory let's check using minus R to list everything recursively okay yeah that was a folder and here we have a file Okay, let's just print out its content. Yeah, as you see, as you see, just text file. Yeah, without any, any, let's say features. Yeah, so just raw text file, plain text file. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's check uh, how another format could look like. Yeah, so for example, let's use a JSON format, which is well quite popular. Okay, let's uh, create a new table, test four, in the same uh, structure, and s save the data in it. Uh, as a JSON by specifying option uh, stored as JSON file. JSON file, okay. Sorry, uncategorized as JSON. No. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, okay, uh, it, yeah, the format in which we can store data also depends on the version of Hive. It uh, seems that uh, our version is not supporting that. Uh, okay, Hive 4 point something should only support that. Okay, let's, let's check it in Parquet. Parquet. Okay, perfect. Okay, and now let's insert the same data, uh, but in test table 4, which uses Parquet for storing data. Okay, let's insert it. Uh, that could take a while. Okay, uh, let's now check what we have here. Okay, the same output, and now let's uh, let's check on HDFS how this data look like uh, looks like. FS minus R. Okay, that's the file. Okay, so as you see, so here you can already see the difference. So when we use a plain text for storing our data, it uh, takes quite quite small amount of space on HDFS yeah, and for the same string to be stored in Parquet well uh, we need almost five times more space right okay let's see how it looks like okay so as you see yeah, we have some extra extra data here 
Yeah, so that's how it looks like. Yeah, so it's not only uh, data as such, yeah, but also uh, we have here uh, some uh, data type specification. Yeah, so for example, if we read Parquet uh, by another tools or programs like Spark, yeah, we can also extract some extra knowledge uh, about the data. So we will know how many columns we have, what are the column names, what are data types for each uh, column and so on. Yeah, so that's why uh, we, uh, we have uh, such a larger file. Yeah, so here, okay, it's just a plain text, it's a small one, but it contains only data. So, for example, we don't know uh, how many columns exactly we have here, for example, or what are column data types. So, it's up to Hive to interpret that. Yeah, so if we, for, uh, for example, will try to use uh, Spark as such, yeah, we will not be able to interpret the data because we don't know anything about this data. Yeah, but here, uh, in Parquet file, we actually do have that. Yeah, we have uh, column names, column one, column two. Yeah, we have also data types here. Believe me, uh, when we'll start talking about Spark, that will be a huge playlist because it's one of the core components of Hadoop ecosystem. You'll see that uh, Parquet is a really good uh, storage format. Yeah. Okay, but uh, for today that would be all. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. So by now you know how to create a table, uh, how to create a new table by copying uh, all metadata from another table. So if you want to create a table with exactly the same structure like already existing table, and also you know how to specify uh, different formats of uh, storing data uh, in uh, Hive tables. Yeah? In particular, we talked about uh, text file and Parquet. Yeah? So in next videos, we'll also discuss uh, some other formats available. Yeah, but uh, that's all for today. Also, don't forget to visit our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide. Uh, we'll post uh, some interesting stuff there. Uh, starting from the next week. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet, so you don't miss any new videos. Uh, if still you have any questions, comments, doubts, suggestions, and so on, so just uh, post them below the video. But uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.